Hey everyone, it's me Ruby Collins and today I'm going to use my cell phone to do my recording because you know I usually use my um, laptop but it's, it's just hot and I don't want to be in that room and I don't want to have to deal with the laptop so I want to use my phone and it's easy. I don't know why. It, the easier it gets, the more we find excuses why we can't use it or don't do it right away as it's available for us. But nevertheless, I hadn't done a food video in a while, a couple, a few days, maybe a week if not more, not because I hadn't been eating right, which a part of that, I might have slipped up here and there, I had a McDonald's the other day, I had a slice of pizza, and I, I, I was like hating myself afterwards, like why did you do that, Ruby, come on. But anyway, if I do it once, it's okay, and that's it. And then the following day, I'll pay for it because if I eat that kind of food, my bowels don't move the way it's supposed to move. For those of you who know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I happen to stumble in my stumble upon in my storage nutritional healing book. It's so thick, it's moving. And um, I said, you know, I flipped through the pages and I went to the hyperthyroidism. It's thyroid, but it's called hyperthyroidism. And I went into the book and I found the page that had, you know, this is a, a guide reference to drug-free remedies using vitamins, minerals, herbs, and food supplements. Prescription for nutritional healing. America's number one guide to natural health. And I remember watching some videos of a woman who, when she was having hyperthyroidism or a thyroid or whatever, she went to a doctor and he prescribed all of these um, vitamins and things that she should eat. And he, and he was like, that's it? I mean, when she told him his problem, when she told her his problem, he was like, that's it? Nothing else? Nothing more? But nevertheless, and she was, you know, she was healed. But nevertheless, I found in this book the remedy to my thyroid. As you know, I don't have an active thyroid. It's not low, hypo, or hyper. It's thyroid nodules. I'm just developing these little lumps in my thyroid, and they vary in size, and I need to know how to stop it. So I've been detoxing. I love detoxing because it has transformed my body. I mean, I wasn't that big to begin with, but I'll tell you because I'm always exercising and trying to eat right. But since I've been on this detox, I have lost a substantial amount of weight. It is like, I'm excited just like watching my body transform into this little cute petite size. Look at those little arms. Ooh, ooh. But anyways, nevertheless, so I, that, that gives me, you know, motivation. That excites me to see that I don't have to be, I mean, it's okay if you're a big girl, big boy, whoever you are, whatever, if you want to be big, that's your issue. Me, I don't like it. I want to have the body that I had when I was 18, 19, 20. And I have to say that I still do. It's exciting to be like almost, you know, almost 50 and you know, 20 year old, 19 year old body. But anyway, I digress because I'm so vain. Okay. Not really, but let me show you what the book talked about in terms of the natural healing remedies, uh, nutritional healing, vitamins. Um, maybe I should find a page. Let me find. Let me hold up. Let me look for it, and then I'm gonna tell you what it told me to use. Actually, I was looking for my glasses, but I can't find it. Anyway, I'll just show you based on the vitamins. And today I have my breakfast. It's like 9:30 in the morning. Since this morning, I went and played tennis about 6:30 this morning, 7 o'clock. Um, I went and distributed flyers with the kids. We went out and uh, distributed flyers for the business. If you guys don't know, I teach music. Um, also wigs and tutoring. Custom made wigs and tutoring and music lessons. Piano, guitar, all the string instruments. So we went and distributed flyers. This is what I'm eating today. This morning for breakfast. Eggplant, cabbage. I'm gonna tell you about cabbage. Well, actually I called my cousin in England and we were talking, well, she FaceTimed me, FaceTimed me, I think that's what it's called. And she, I was telling her that yeah, I have some hyper, you know, I have thyroid and blah, blah, blah. She goes, me too. Oh, I have hyper, hyper. And I, she goes, I went that.
Okay, let me do this quickly. Cabbage, she said me too, and she said she's been eating cabbage and it reduced her her issue with it. Like she no longer has the, um, what is it called when you have the symptoms, the symptoms, she no longer has the symptoms. Um, and the doctor wants to know what she was doing. So I have cabbage, lentil peas, couscous, couscous, egg, uh, eggplant, cabbage, lentil peas, couscous. That, that's what I'm having for breakfast. Here are the vitamins that I'm taking for the, the book, Natural Nutritional Healing Book, suggested or recommended that I take. Ultra Mega. Ultra Mega 3-6. These are the fatty acid, fatty something. Hold on, I'm going to have to read this without my glasses. Hold on. Okay, I am telling you, I went through this book just now, and I just almost real thought that I had bought all the wrong vitamins for the wrong illness. Anyway, it almost like I almost lost my mind just now. Like, what page, which page did I look at? Which page did I read? And which vitamins did I end up buying? Which I spent almost like close to a hundred dollars buying vitamins. Anyway, so I think I did. All right, nutrients. This is for thyroids. Kelp. Do I have kelp? I don't think I have kelp. Oh gosh. Okay, kelp. And it gives you the suggested doses, which is 2,000 to 3,000 milligrams. Um, raw thyroid glandule. I don't have that. I didn't see that. Also, vitamin B complex. I did buy, buy some vitamin B. Where's my vitamin? I don't think. Vitamin B complex. Okay, vitamin B complex, um, plus extra B2 riboflavin and vitamin B12. Then it says brewer's yeast. I bought some brewer's yeast. Okay, I'm gonna have to mix it with some kind of, I don't do dairy, so I don't do milk or anything like that, but you want to probably do it. And no, because I tried putting a scoop in my mouth and try to drink water, it was stuck all inside my mouth. It was gross. But it was okay. But I mean, I was like, okay, I gotta figure out another way to do this. Um, essential fatty acids. All right, the essential fatty acids. I went to the health store, he told me it was this Ultra Omega 369. Okay, fatty acids. This is for thyroids. What else? Um, or Florox and iron herbs from Salus. Okay. Or Floraxidix, F L O R A D I X iron and herbs. Okay. Then we have selenium. 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 And as directed on label, blah, blah, blah. So I have that. Then there's vitamin A with mixed carotenoids plus. Natural beta carotene, or I don't have that. Vitamin A. Nope. All right, I gotta get me circle that vitamin A. And that's carrots, maybe too. Vitamin C with rabino flavors. Vitamin C with bioflavonoid bio. Vitamin C with. With that bio flavor, what? Bio flavonoids. Okay, vitamin C. That's what I'm taking. Vitamin E. Do I have vitamin E here? D. No vitamin E. Was I? What was I looking at? I thought I got everything. And zinc, 50 milligrams daily. Do not exceed a total amount of 100 milligrams a day. Vitamin E, 200 IU daily or 400. Vitamin C, 500 milligrams four times daily. <sighs> That's a lot. Vitamin A, 15,000 IU daily. If you are pregnant, do not exceed 10,000 IU daily. Iron, as directed by a physician, take with 100 milligrams of vitamin C for better absorption.
All right, and finally, um, essential fatty acids, I showed you that. And brewer's yeast, as directed on label, vitamin B complex, 100 of milligrams each major, B three times daily with meals. Uh, raw thyroid glandular, L tyrosine, TH tyrosine, 500 milligrams. I don't have that, and I don't have kelp. Kelp, tyrosine, L tyrosine. All right, well, anyway, I just wanted to update you. I have to go in my checkup every three months. My food is cold. I'm going to eat, but I want you to know what I'm taking for the thyroid nodules, the vitamins. So if you were to go see um, a health doctor, I'm pretty sure he's going to prescribe from this nutritional healing book right here. Oh man, I have to make a copy. I prescribe these same vitamins that I'm taking. Plus, eat cabbage. My cousin said that she doesn't have her thyroid. It's not active anymore because she was eating cabbage for breakfast and dinner. All day long, cabbage. Gotta go. Love you all. And um, I'll see you again because I have plenty to talk about. Plenty to say. Come back. If you haven't already, go to my Facebook. Friend me there. I'm always posting there as well. Those of you who are interested in the community, if you're in a neighborhood and you know me, uh, you're interested in music lessons, tutoring, custom-made wigs, and a whole host of other stuff. I'm so interested in just sharing everything that I know. Hey, hit me up on the Facebook or here. I love you all. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you like my channel, Ruby Collins TV. YouTube, Ruby Collins TV. Bye.